with clouds and sun and high desert looking for that chance of rain on Sunday and Monday. Uh, so that is a look at your forecast on Abraham Lincoln's birthday. That's right. Lou and Glenn, now back to you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> In honor of Black History Month, the Peterson Automotive Museum is featuring a special exhibition. KTLA 5's Gail Anderson is in LA's Mid Wilshire District with those details. We are showing you one of the rare surviving copies of something known as the Negro Motorist Green Book. That's the name of this exhibition here at the Peterson Automotive Museum, put together in conjunction with the Smithsonian Institute, as well as author uh, Candace Taylor. Uh, Jonathan Eisen of the Peterson, this was the Bible for African Americans in the early 1900s because of segregation and the Jim Crow laws. That's right. During the Jim Crow era, uh, there were many segregated businesses. Uh, Victor Green created this guide to businesses that accommodated black travelers. And uh, they were ran the gamut from hotels to beauty parlors, just about anything. And there were several editions that he produced along with his wife. He was a postal worker in Harlem. That's right. He was a mail carrier in Harlem. Uh, well, he lived in Harlem. He delivered the mail in New Jersey. His wife was from Richmond, Virginia, and they would take yearly trips down to Virginia from New York to Virginia. I'm learning here that she was a big inspiration in addition to being publisher to help him get this out there because of terrible experiences she had on the road in Virginia. That's right, yes. Obviously, it was a big difference going from New York to the South mm. where they experienced uh, discrimination, humiliation from uh, you know not being served in these uh, whites only businesses and that really inspired Victor to create this guide that was uh, filled with mostly black owned businesses but also white owned businesses as well and as you walk through this exhibit you'll learn a number of things uh, among them that in addition to her experiences um, this was as we see on this panel there was a connection to the Jewish community which also had trouble traveling that's right, yes, Victor Green had a good friend who was Jewish, and there were many guides to uh, kosher businesses, especially oh. in the Catskills in New York, and uh, that kind of inspired him to create one for black travelers. It's a chauffeur's hat. Why? That's right, this was a prop that many uh, black motorists would use when they got pulled over by a racist cop who uh, didn't believe that they could afford a nice car. You take out your chauffeur's hat, you'd say, this is my boss's car, mm. and either I'm driving the car to get gas, or if you had your wife in the car, you would say, I'm driving the help home. Uh, and it was a way to uh, you know, avoid uh, racism. That's just one of hundreds of stories told in the exhibition, The Negro Motorist Green Book, in this exhibition at the Peterson Automotive Museum. In Los Angeles, Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News. More KTLA 5 News at 3.